In the wild, snakes can spend large proportions of their time hunting and engaging in natural behaviours. Anything from following rodent scent trails to rodent urine around nest sites highlighted by UVA vision. But in captivity, the amount of time spent and engaging mentally is short compared to that of the wild. In this video, we will look at how you can extend the amount of time your snake engages in these behaviours, and that's coming up. This channel is dedicated to improving reptile welfare with science and good information sources. If you want to stay up to date with science-based care for your reptiles, then click the subscribe button and press the bell icon for future information. Now, the time an animal spends in any given day is called an activity budget, and that is the time it allocates to different behaviours on a daily basis. This strongly affects its fitness by determining interaction rates with resources, predators and competitors according to this study. In ethology, studies are carried out by observing different behaviours, defining them, then observing the animal for an extended period of time and recording the amount of time the animal spends doing what behaviour. In captivity, the activity budget of the wild counterparts has been studied. We can utilise methods such as enrichment and enclosure design to try and encourage the animal to align its behaviours closer to that of being natural. While the exact activity budget for your chosen species of snake might not be known or studied, we can safely say that they're spending more time hunting in the wild than those few moments it takes for a snake to strike at food presented in tongs. That's why it's important to try our best to try and extend the amount of time our animals spend hunting, while during this time they are mentally stimulated. While I have not tested this on species many consider to be sedentary, ambush hunters like gaboon vipers or blood pythons, the vast majority of colubrids and other pythons etc will benefit from this. I have seen this used from anything from corn snakes to retics and carpet pythons, so what I'm doing here is placing food around the enclosure to encourage the animal to engage in those hunting behaviours. This extended the portion of the snake's activity budget to an hour and a half searching for food. And to be fair, it actually carried on searching for ages after, but I only counted the, from the time I put food in to the time the final pinky was consumed. It can be frustrating to watch if they really take their time with it. And for that reason, I've cut sections out to make this video shorter. So what I'll do here is I'll speak sparingly so you can get the idea of how it is to watch your snake forage around the enclosure. She kind of pauses here and just kind of sits under the UV for a little bit and then carries on her search. And once she found one pinky after around 40 minutes, she kind of picked it up and really took it up a gear in the way she's moving around hunting. A quick wipe of the mouth and continue with the hunt. 
This one was the most frustrating because it's clearly right next to her head but yet she chooses to go the other direction. That darkling beetle was loving life though. She finally came from the other direction up the rocks and found the mouse, Pinky, and sends the darkling beetles flying into the stratosphere. Yeah, so that took around an hour and a half, and even after she was finished, she's carried on cruising around the enclosure after. I didn't film that, but hopefully after watching it, you've got some ideas of how you're going to increase their activity budget of hunting in your own care. Leave a comment and let me know what you're planning to do. If you do this, come back and leave a comment on the species you did it with. I would love a list of species that this has actually worked with. And if someone else has the same species as you, your comment might be the thing that makes them try this.